that was amazing. That was amazing. That really was amazing, I have to say. I love this, I love this. this. <laughs> doing uh, I'm checking the IP settings so because we are now in, probably in a new Wi-Fi network I, I, I'm just checking the uh, basic uh, Windows Wi-Fi screen now. so let's back it up a bit I met with Anarchy Labs at the beginning of this year and they pitched their solution for BB loss using an AR solution and I was very intrigued. They asked me if I wanted to be an advisor for the company and I really helped them out every now and then. Last week, Hanno had contacted me to ask me if I wanted to have a look at the solution for the first time. They've been working hard through the spring and summer and they finally have something to show. And wow, was I impressed. Well, I love this. <laughs> I really do. This is so. I mean, this is so minority report, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. it, is, it is. This is so minority report. Okay. It's not so, funny. so where, what, what app? Are, what app are you in right now? I can see. Um, I, I can see the compass there pointing north. Okay, so you are in our application. Yes, and I can see Great. the map now. I can see Great. the map. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, toggle, toggle map. map. Toggle map. Toggle map. Toggle map status panel. So, could you explain to me exactly what it is that you're developing and how this is going to revolutionise drone users in the future? Yeah, we are we are visualising the stuff that you have now in controllers that uh, you are forced to look down from the drone to see that stuff we are drawing for the pilots into the sky where the drone is and uh, in a way that will help in in understanding the situation the situational awareness and uh, like data data world-based data that's that's what we are doing and uh, trying to trying to get the pilot's eyes back into the sky that's that's the main thing I, I guess yeah and what does this mean in terms of V loss and BV loss yeah so in this visual line of sight um, we are enhancing for example just the basic simple thing of pilot understanding the orientation or, or the heading as even in uh, visual line of sight, when you go with these small drones or even bigger ones, just a couple of hundred meters, you don't understand the direction of the drone anymore, which is crucial when you want to want to change direction, for example. And now we can draw the heading there into the sky where the drone is. 47% battery, still got 17 satellites, height of 11.6 meters. Wow. And not once have I looked at the not once have I looked at the remote. So I'm 30 meters. I still have my home location there. I can toggle the map on and off. Toggle the status panel as well. I can still see my heading and my longitude latitude. I know what direction because it's pointing the, the direction the drone is going. I know that it's going right now. I know that it's now going left. I'm going higher. I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it down. My battery is at 41%. I've got 18 satellites now. Oh, I know exactly where it is. Oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool.
That was amazing. That was amazing. That really was amazing, I have to say. I love this. I love this. This is phone connection okay, transmitter connection okay, eye track okay, set phone position, set phone heading position. Can I also change anything on the map here? Can I move no, anything with yet. the map? Not yet, no. But no, it sees sorry. my hand. Oh, it actually sees my hand. Yeah. And what's also really good is it is comfortable. Mm. It is. It's not, yes. it's not obtrusive. No. You kind of don't feel that you're wearing something because I'm already wearing glasses anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. it doesn't feel, you know, it doesn't feel like, you know, yeah. like it's heavy. Mm. It doesn't feel... It feels like a ready product. Yeah. In the sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it almost like, feels... Like Works. Yeah, and it, it really feels like I'm wearing, you know, like a cycling helmet, and I have the glasses for cycling helmets. And they they even have this hard hat integrated version, right? Which would be even better economically, mm. and it's needed in some some operations, of course. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know the feeling. <laughs> What would you say would be a word or a sentence to summarize the feeling that you have now? It's a bit like Christmas morning. <laughs> you know, when you wake up and you have some new toy to play with and it's really cool and you forget everything that's around you. I wonder how it would be with snow. Yeah, mm. yeah. We, we are thinking of, of, of like uh, trying out with those motorcycle visors. Yeah. Try finding some, some visor that fits really good there and then just uh, doing a snap on or something yeah. and uh, it's probably on the works with the Microsoft anyway yeah. so yeah 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 and uh, they have even done that with HoloLens 1 in Norway okay. and ran into the problem with, with snow and the sun yes yeah, sure. yeah. the yeah, that's most fun. extreme situation but, but well done but <laughs> really good work guys really good work I'm very <laughs> okay. impressed I'm nice really to impressed. Hear. I was, I was so, so there you have it I hope you liked what you could see, really only my reactions and you'll see just how impressive and just how much and just how intuitive the whole system will actually be. When the patent is done, we will be able to show you the user interface and you'll see just how it looks. So please make sure you like and subscribe so that when you get to see this and you'll be so impressed, you yourself will also think that like Christmas morning. <laughs> Fly safe. One of the things that we have to... Are you filming now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, then I won't talk about developing.